Hello everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. Before I start this video, I just wanted to apologise for my voice. I have lost it a little bit, so I might sound a little bit croaky on today's video. I've been resting it yesterday. So fingers crossed I don't sound too different today, but I'm in a great mood. The sun is shining, it's been shining in Manchester for the past few days now, so Hopefully spring is on the way, so I thought this was the perfect time to talk you guys through a few new in pieces that I've got for this season as well. You may have already seen a few of these pieces featured in my trends video, but I've also got a few new basics that I've updated as well. And if you guys like my style, then hopefully you'll like these pieces as much as I do. And as always, with new in pieces that I add in, I like them to slot in seamlessly with the rest of my wardrobe as well. So everything you see here, I'll be wearing throughout spring into summer and show you different ways in which you can style them. So for today's video, I've got around 10 or 11 different pieces and I'm gonna cover accessories as well as clothing too. So I'm gonna kick this off with my jewelry that I'm wearing and these are from Monica Vinada. So if you've been a long-term subscriber, you'll know I'm a big fan of the brand. So I'm super excited to be working with them again and share these stunning pieces with you for spring that'll take you seamlessly into summer as well. So first up, I have the Keshi Pearl Necklace and Bracelet Duo. And these are stunning pieces to pair with your basics to elevate a simple look, whether it's with a plain shirt like I'm wearing today or a TM blazer. I really love the irregular design of these and the matte gold finish ties in perfectly with the natural pearls. The clasp is also so beautifully designed so you can wear this necklace in so many ways. You can just show off the pearls, you can show off a bit of the gold, or like I have here, sit the clasp at the front for that irregular design detail. As I said before, these will take you seamlessly into summer so you can pair them with your linen dresses and shirts, your vest tops, and they'll also be perfect additions to take with you on any holidays that you have planned. I love styling pearls anyway, and I feel like this particular design is perfect for spring, summer. So going on to the third piece that I picked out, and you know I love a hoop, but I don't quite own any like this. So these are the beautiful root medium hoop earrings, and they are just stunning. The double hoop design adds a point of difference to any others that I have and I also love the unique shape of them as well. These ones come in a matte gold finish as well so they tie in beautifully with the pearl necklace and bracelet. Next I've got this really unique wishbone bangle and lagoon open ring and these two pieces tie in beautifully with the root hoops as well. As you know I love to wear lots of gold rings so I also got the newer crossover ring to style on the other hand. Again I was really drawn to the unique design of this. I just think these unique and irregular pieces add a bit of texture and difference to a simple outfit. So all the pieces featured today are made from 18 karat gold vermeil and Monica pioneered this technique to create affordable beautiful jewellery. So to create this finish gold is layered on top of sterling silver to create a finish five times thicker than the average gold plating so that it's far more durable and long lasting. They also only use sustainably sourced natural gemstones, diamonds and pearls so not only are their products ethical, but all packaging is made from recycled materials and is recyclable too. So those were my new in jewellery picks from Monica Vinada. I can't wait to style these over the next few months and then take them right into summer too. So if you loved any of the pieces, I've actually got a discount code to share with you today, which I will pop on the screen now and I'll link everything below. So the next accessory I would share with you are my new sunglasses. So I picked these up from Manchester Airport on the way to Iceland actually, and they just really caught my eye. I love the shape of them. They're really minimal and the branding isn't in your face. So these ones are from Prada. We've got the branding there. And then we've got a really subtle one in the corner here, which I only even noticed the other day. I don't even know if you can see on camera, but I love the shape of these. I am really fussy with sunglasses and which ones suit me. And I feel like these really do. And they're perfect for every day. I was really needing a plain black pair with like more of a slimmer frame. So I'm really glad I found these. They're a slight cat eye shape, but because the frame is quite big, it doesn't feel like too slender. I've been reaching for these over my other sunglasses recently. And because I sadly lost my plain black sunglasses, these are definitely a much needed new addition and 
I'm gonna definitely look after these ones. Love those. You'll be seeing me styling these so much in my videos and throughout spring, summer. So the next new accessory I wanted to share with you is a lovely new bag from Arquette. Now, if you've been watching my styling videos for a while, you know I love the banana bag shape because I live in my cos crossbody bag. And this is just a bigger, more spring, summer version. I actually didn't expect it to be this big when it arrived and I'm pleasantly surprised because it can fit so much in, it's huge. So I'll style this a few different ways and show you now because you can wear it crossbody, you can wear it on your shoulder, you can just hold it in your hand if you want. But it's great, I love the raffia base. Then we've got this gorgeous black leather strap as well. I don't actually own a spring summer bag with black details on so all of my other ones are tan but this is great if I'm wearing hints of black in my summer outfits and as I said on my trends video black spring summer looks are a key trend so with all the outfits that I featured I thought this would look gorgeous with them as well so yeah this is my new spring summer bag edition and this design is a really lovely minimal way to add that hint of spring summer into your looks and the final new accessory I've got to share with you are the Mary Jane Ballet Hybrid Flats. I love these shoes. So in my trends video, you'll know I've featured them in black. And I just thought, I love them that much. I've been wearing them so much. I'm gonna get them in the cream for spring, summer too. The only difference I made in purchasing these is I actually sized down and I wish I had in the black ones. If like me, you do have quite slim feet, then definitely size down because they do come up a little bit wide. It did gape slightly at the back, but I do still need to try the black ones with an insole so I'll let you know how I get on there but yeah I love these I love the ballet flat design but with the Mary Jane strap and then we've got the more of a square toe here which I much prefer so again a gorgeous minimal design and they're a great price I think these are 55 pounds from John Lewis I've just checked and they are currently still sold out but they keep restocking them because they're so popular so I'll link both colours below anyway and then hopefully you guys can get your hands on some. They're super versatile, I love wearing them with my jeans, my wide leg trousers, my maxi skirts, they're just great, they go with everything and like I said this hybrid of the Mary Jane and ballet flat is just more my style. So that is accessories done, I'm now going to go on to the clothing. And the first piece that I've got is a plain white tee. So you might be thinking, Nina, you've already got one. You always wear your Arquette one. And yes, I have, but it has started to fade now. And unfortunately, the other day, I got a few black stains on it. I don't know where it came from and I can't seem to get it out. So I am gonna be filming a how to care for your clothes video, which is ironic because I've just ruined the white top, but I'm determined to get them out and I want to show you how I brighten my whites as well. So that's another video. So I've invested in a new white tee because I wear my Arquette one so much. I wear it underneath jumpers, I wear it on its own and I'm forever washing it because I don't have a backup. So this is my new addition. So then my Arquette one can be the backup. So I picked this one up from COS because it's an ever so slightly lighter weight one than Arquette. So it's great for spring, summer. And I really love the wider rib collar detail on this design too. I did actually buy the striped version of this last spring, summer, and I've worn that so much. So I got this in a size small. I think the fit is really nice. It fits really well on the shoulders. It's a boxy fit, which I love as well. And as you can see, it tucks really nicely into my trousers and jeans. I'll show you a few different ways that I'm gonna be styling this for spring, but it's a plain white tee, it goes with everything, and I was definitely in need of an upgrade. So yeah, we've gone for this one. So the next piece I've got to share with you is this beautiful shirt shacket hybrid. And the reason I picked this up is because it's gonna be super versatile for me to wear buttoned up, tucked in with my jeans as a double denim look, or I can wear it open as a jacket too. So we've got a two in one design with this piece and it is honestly the softest denim ever. And we've got a gorgeous wide sleeve with a wide cuff too. So I've been styling this so much recently with my denim skirt. I'll pop some images and reels on here and also with my black wide leg trousers, which I'll also show you too. I'll style this a few other ways to show you how versatile it is. I'll do a double denim look and also pair it with some of my other trousers as well. But yeah, I love this piece. So I stuck to my true size and got this in a 36. It's quite oversized anyway with the drop shoulder. 
and it just feels super relaxed and it's just such a timeless piece for me. I really love the wash of this as well. So you can see on the seams it's a little bit lighter in areas so it gives that real vintage wash look which I really love. It's timeless and it's going to wear really well too and this will also take you so nicely into summer as an over shirt with your dresses or your shorts or your linen pieces too so yeah definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of this. So I couldn't do this video without including a new stripe edition. It's the only print that I really wear and I wear a stripe all year round. So this is a perfect edition for spring. It's a medium weight knit I'd say and it's great for those colder spring days that we've been having recently. So I've really been reaching for this a lot to pair with my jeans, to layer my trench coat over the top. So the reason I went for this one is because it was a point of difference from any other stripe jumpers that I have. I don't have a round neck one and I love this asymmetric button detail on the one side too. So as much as I love wearing round neck jumpers, it can be an absolute nightmare for getting makeup on the collar when you're taking it on and off. So this unbuttons really easily and then you've got all that space to pop it on. So that's another reason why I love this. It's not only a lovely unique design, but it's also functional too. So for sizing, I stuck to my true size and got it in a small. It's a really nice, relaxed, boxy fit. I'll show you this on as well and style it a few different ways for you. So the next two pieces I've got to show you is this gorgeous linen cord. How stunning is that? I love a waistcoat and I love a wide leg trouser and I saw this on Massimo Duty and I thought, that is absolutely stunning. And I initially thought this was denim, but it's actually linen, which is even better for taking you right into summer too. I'll show you a close up so you can see, but it really looks like denim, so I love it. It's obviously a lot softer than denim, which is great as well. And the waistcoat is obviously thicker because it's doubled up and then it's fully lined as well. It's really beautifully made. So we've got the contrast stitching on the pockets and the darts at the center front and down the center back. So it really does give that denim look. So I styled this last week and I just absolutely love it. I'll share some images and a little reel on here too. So I actually teamed my navy blazer with it as well and then tan accessories. So that's the waistcoat. And then we've got the trousers too. So these feel very retro for me. I love them. As you can see, they're super lightweight. They're a gorgeous fit. And we've got this extended tab detail on the waistband. And again, all the contrast stitching on the pockets and on all the finishings too. So these feel very 70s and they're a gorgeous wide leg. Because I am petite, I do have to wear a slight heel with these. So I am tempted to get them taken up so that I can wear them in the summer with my tan sandals and everything. Because I think I'll get so much more wear out of them if I'm able to wear them with a slight heel and flats as well. So that is my plan, but bear that in mind if you are petite as well. So for sizing, I got the trousers in a size six and the waistcoat in a size eight. And the great thing with it being a cord is that you can style these pieces separately too. So I'll show you a few different ways on how I plan to style these for spring. The next piece I've got to show you is this gorgeous satin maxi skirt. I fell in love with the color of this. I do have a black maxi midi and a cream one too. So I thought this top color would slot in nicely into my wardrobe and team really well with my other neutrals. I actually haven't had a chance to wear this skirt out yet, but I have been planning some outfits. So I'll share a few different looks with you to show you how you can style it. And for sizing, I sized down and got a 34, just so it fits really nice and high-waisted. The waistband's elasticated too, so it's super comfortable. And it's a really nice length on me as well. So for reference, I'm five foot three, just so you know. And I can wear this with my belly flats and sandals without it dragging on the floor. So that's a winner for me. The next piece is something that you've most likely seen if you've watched my previous videos. And this is my twill jacket from COS. I have been wearing this so much recently. I love it. It's just a great staple piece for me. And it really was something that I was missing in my wardrobe. This cropped style with minimal detail, it just slots right in. I love styling it with my striped tee and wide leg trousers. And it also equally looks gorgeous with my maxi skirts too. So this for me is definitely my favorite purchase for spring. So I got this one in a size small. It is a boxy fit, so I definitely stick to your true size. It's a really great cropped length too, especially if you're petite. And the final pieces I wanted to share with you is another cord. And it's something I've really been reaching for, for when going out for brunch, going out during the day, and even working from home too, because it's so comfortable. And it's this gorgeous cord from Sancha. Honestly, their products, especially their knitwear, is so 
luxurious and soft. I just love the brand. And wearing this skirt and jumper together is one of my favourite looks for spring. I'll share a reel that I did for them on here so you can see. It's just such a comfy outfit, but it looks super chic as well. So I really love the stripe design of it. So we've got this like creamy oatmeal colour with like this top stripe down the middle. So it really elongates your figure as well. We've got a lovely drop shoulder here. So it's a really relaxed fit. I also love this wide rib on the neckline which is then also mirrored on the waistband too. This is elasticated, so it's so comfortable. And to be honest, because it is knitwear, you could wear this all year round really. So I've been teaming it with my olive green boots for spring. And then I plan on styling it with my tan sandals towards the end of spring into early summer too. Also, because it is a co-ord, you can team it with different pieces in your wardrobe as well. For example, this would look really gorgeous tucked into wide leg trousers for a real relaxed look. So for sizing, I got both of these in a size small, so I will link those below. So there we go, guys. That is everything I've got new in for spring. I really hope you liked my selects and the way I styled them. And if you guys have anything similar in your wardrobe, then definitely pull that out. And hopefully this has inspired you to style it in some different ways. So as always, I'll link everything below and offer some alternatives too in case some pieces are sold out or you're looking for different price points, then you can shop everything below. I hope my voice hasn't been too croaky for you. Hopefully I'm back to normal by tomorrow. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all very, very soon.